All right, well, the weather, as Matt just said, is looking good for Friday evening. So if you want to go check out some really incredible classic cars here in Connecticut, Portland is the place to go. We're talking about the David Bordenero Memorial Car Show. His wife, Linda, is here with us right now. Linda, you got thanks for being with us. Tell us a little bit more about this event and why, of course, it's so important to you. Well, it's important to me because, um, well, first of all, thank you for having us on. Um, it's um, The car show is held in memory of my husband, Dave, who passed away four years ago um, of melanoma. And at that time, Knights of Columbus came to me and asked to do a car show in his honor. And um, it's been fantastic. We've raised lots of money for excellent causes. Um, it's held every year at St. Mary's uh, Church in Portland. This is Father Paul, um, the um, the priest at the at the church, who is has very nicely um, allowed us to use the parking facilities there every year, and um, it holds over 100 cars. 130 cars. 130 cars. Tell us a little bit more about what it means to you and the parish to be able to be involved with this event. Well, first of all, I'm a car guy, and I knew Dave, and and uh, and he, this is his car, and it's uh, I just love have all the cars, and it's fun for the parish. We use the funds that we gain for uh, the David Bordenaro Memorial Scholarship Fund, which uh, which is a big deal for us, and so but basically it brings a lot of people to town brings a lot of people to the church and brings a lot of people to the awareness of uh, what we do for our community at St. Mary's Church in Portland. And Father Paul, since you said you're a car guy, tell us a little bit more about this beauty here. Well, this is a unique uh, vehicle. It's got a, a 427 single overhead cam Ford engine. There's only uh, 300, 500 of them made. There's only 500 made. And we're not sure how many today are even still there's, running. There's only three of these motors still running in the, in the sport today. And this is wow. a, an example of that. Uh, Pretty and it's incredible. A, yeah, yeah. How many other cars are going to be there? And what should people know as far as what they can expect, the amount of cars and, and, and price to come in and check out all these incredible vehicles? Well, we uh, first of all, it's free, absolutely free. Anybody can come and check it out. It, uh, if you bring your <clears throat> your sweet ride and if you've got a real nice one, bring it because uh, uh -huh. it's only $10 to register. But we expect, because it's, a, it's all asphalt, there's no dirt or grass involved, it's all asphalt, and we uh, attract about 105 to 130 30 cars will come to the show. Uh -huh. Now, Linda, this car show has an, had an incredible amount of success, and it really goes to show how many people's lives your husband touched. That's so true. Um, from the kids he taught CCD to, to the kids that win the scholarships in his name, so many people come. I think over 600 people came last year, and it's what's great about it is it's for the whole family. Um, there's face painting, balloon animals. It's not just for for car enthusiasts. It's there's fantastic food. There's um, raffle prizes, and it's it's just it's a fantastic night for everybody. And at the end of the night, we do burnouts. Oh really? Yes, burnouts oh, wow. up uh, up Route 66 to Main Street. Wicked cool. Oh. Right, really exciting. Of course, we're very happy to have you here, and thanks for bringing this oh, sweet ride over. It's only thanks to, to Belltown Motors and East Hampton, and um, we're not going to start it here today, but if you come to the show Friday, you'll get to hear it run. Blow your head off. All right, good <laughs> stuff. So don't forget, Friday evening in Portland. Don't forget, all the information is also going to be on our news app and on our website. Thank you both for being Thank here. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. All right, guys, back to you. And still ahead on the Fox 61 morning news after another violent week in Hartford, police say they're trying to crack down on crime and part.